Most definitely. Uh, the one thing that I realized about this club, only one competitor is not in the Detroit Lions defensive playbook, and that's going to be AKG. And we'll see how that plays out here as he takes it to the 30-yard line. Fun. We, we actually have the uh, commentary on. We got dueling commentary going on in the game, so we'll, we'll try to get that fixed as soon as possible. Uh, and, and hopefully, by an admin after this play. 0 0. Five minute quarters. We mentioned the salary cap. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping. Those big defensive linemen will take the bait. And Fresh faces out here in the New England offensive book going up against the Giants defensive book of AKG here. New England, of course, known mostly for the bunch. Uh, and there we go. Long route. Now, you got to like your first event ever. Your first pass goes for 35 yards. He gets to be wide open. It's a great, great way of just settling yourself down, just, just getting your feet wet. I like that deep route there. Wide open. That's, that's big for him on the first play. It may not have scored, may not have seemed like much, but that's a great way to calm yourself down. Yeah, Fresh is in the all-white. AKG is in the green tops. And yeah, there's our admin, Justin Chow. You can see him in the bottom right-hand corner. He's, he's going to step in and, hey, I love Brandon God, and I, you know I, I love the commentating crew to listen to the game, but uh, it sh surely makes it a lot easier for us if we can if we can just do our thing. <laughs> I love Mike and Ike, so I'm going to be completely honest. I this box right here, you if this it if might one of not these be games, there. I'm telling it you, it might not be there by the end of the show. That's what Big Grocery's trying to tell you. Let one of these games get out of hand. <laughs> hey, but if hey Brandon Gordon, if he goes out there and drops a little dippity dot, you know, if 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 Charles Davis is telling somebody get on their horse, then. Hey, maybe there's no need for us for the rest you know, of the way. I've, I've always wondered, and I, it, I feel bad because I don't know. We've got to get Charles Davis to do an NBA game. As, as much as he has these metaphors, and I'd love to see him do an NBA game the way he announces football games because he's got such great cross-sport analogies. I want, to see, I want to see him do something like that. <laughs> All right, they're getting it set up right now. Justin Chow, of course, uh, back in his day, he's one of our admins. He, uh, he knows what he's doing. He, uh, there's no question about it. See AKG, fresh CMF, that's semifinal number one. Don't care about ice. Moda semifinal number two. They're trying to, of course, get to the final, then win the final, put five grand in their pocket, and have the opportunity to represent the New York Jets out in San Francisco. So that's what it's all about, man. That's the goal. If, if, if you didn't come out here and that's your goal, you've already been beat. Most definitely. And, uh, and looking at that bracket experience-wise, of course, the first two names to pop out are AKG and Don't Care About Ice. Uh, but talking to uh, Don't Care About Ice before the game, he also said that uh, he's played everyone on the ladders, everyone from this group okay. he's played on the ladder. So he feels maybe he's got a little bit of an uh, advantage with that. He uh, went back and maybe, maybe streamed some of those games, saved them to his hard drive. So going to be interesting to see if he can stay a step ahead of his competitors. Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, so they're, get, they're getting it. Getting it settled out. It's 4.16 on the clock. Uh, I can tell you from the last five years of Broadcasting Madden, there's always one. There's always, there's always one group where we end up having the commentators on. So it, it's, it's not surprising to me. Uh, it could be at the 30-yard line. Uh, fresh ZMF is the one on the drive, the man on the far side of your screen. AKG's on defense. He's in the all-green. And Fresh is in the all-white. Maybe not all green. That was stuff to say. Green, green tops, white pants. And ZMF is in the all white. He's got the ball at the 30 yard line. Here we go again. We just resume and try to squeeze in the tight window and it'll be incomplete. A little pressure from the right side there. Forced the pass to come out a little early. Receiver wasn't able to turn around and get his eyes on the ball. Dropped there. So third and seven at the 30. Now you notice no matter what uh, that ZMF is coming out and AKG is just base aligning and it looks like he's coming out in nickel normal. Definitely been the meta defense for this year and instead of sending any kind of cover two blitz there he just relies on the block shed. Bruce Smith. Yeah, hello in. Bruce Smith. Haven't seen him in a while and now it's the ever exciting kicking game. I'm watching the bar. That looked pretty good. I know you guys didn't see it. And just short. Didn't have enough on it. It was a long field goal attempt. Didn't get the full power. He had the accuracy, did not have the full power, and he comes up just short. You almost wonder, does that have anything to do with being Oof. that all Madden kick meter? Maybe he hasn't seen it as much without having the uh, experience on the live stage. But it's okay. It's That's how big possession. that sack was. Definitely. Oh, got him all the way up. That, that yard. 
right there. Bruce Smith, Huge. he owes Bruce Smith owes him the three points. So a three yard sack leads to a long field goal and it's an opening miss for ZMF. And AKG will set his audibles. It's agreed upon ahead of time with the competitors if they're going to take that opening delay of game while they try to set up all their audibles. And here we go. New Orleans playbook for AKG. Uh, Detroit defensively for Fresh. And Dion, I'm not even sure he got tackled there. He just fell down at the feet of Josh Jones. And that'll bring up second and five. Little old school Marvin Harrison there. And no reason to get hit. Just lay down. Extend that career. Five yards to go. Ball at the 46. Watching the Jets Club Championship. Scott Cole and Grocery along with you. And there's Tyreek Hill. Makes a man miss. Gets more. And knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Great route combination there. Had a zig route underneath that comeback, um, which forces the user defender to guard one of them, which leaves the other one wide open, especially with the crossing route going from right to left there. Great route combination. Boy, watch for the free safety coming down here on the wide side. Who's got Randy Moss? He's going to put him in motion. And he's going to run the football. Marcus Allen cuts it back against the grain, and he'll work his way down to the 22. It'll be second and four. Great job of following his blockers there. Doesn't immediately get onto the turbo button. Let's Moss get out in front of him. Let's that guard get out in front of him. Turns what probably for most runners would have been a gain of one into a gain of six. Patience is a big key in the run game, Matt. Yeah, if you're holding down turbo when you receive the football in your running game, you're doing it wrong. Such a key mistake. I, I'd be willing to bet that 90% of casual players probably do that. Oh, most definitely. Um, I really liked that this year they added in that uh, training mode where you can see to not do that. And as you see the corner out there, over the top of the uh, baby blue route, as I like to call them. However, underneath wait, wait. the deep third, good placement there. It's going to take a little bit of an adjustment for Fresh. Again, granted, it's his first defensive possession with the lights on him. May take him a little longer to adjust. Yeah, maybe that missed field goal still lingering in the back of his head. He's got to get that out of there. Good job forcing Marcus Allen, setting that edge, and that's going to bring up a second and goal from the seven. Does a great job of not only not getting himself faked, but also forcing him back into the strong side of his defense and corralling him there. Hey, let's go. So second and goal now. AKG on a nice drive here, but you got to finish it off. Got to watch out for Moss high balls here. Back of the end zones, very vulnerable with that safety drop down as far as he is here. Moss is in the slot on your right side of your screen. Big number 84, he goes on a wheel, and he'll get it to TG2. Haven't seen a lot of Gurley in these club championships as they go. And you see there, he had the B receiver open in the back of the end zone, decided to go underneath instead, picks up four, maybe had a chance at six with a high ball. So third and goal from the three. Vic looking, throwing, touchdown. And just a great flood there. That was, you very rarely see a crossers or even like a verticals look that close to the end zone. But he knew that the defender was going to be in zone there, and the zone defenders just aren't going to pick up. The RB route, believe it or not, behind that is what clears all that, all that move, uh, zone, excuse me, because those defenders have to back up to respect that, which gives that A route just that time to go over the top. Yeah, defenders on the back end of the end zone mean absolutely nothing. I mean, it, it, there's no reason to be any deeper than five yards deep, uh, especially with your linebackers. they got to be almost up on the goal line looking to make a play. So it ends up being a touchdown for AKG on the first time he touches it. Now it's time for ZMF in his second drive. Remember, he missed a 54-yarder. See what he does the second time here with the football. A cover two blitz look there. Pressure doesn't quite get in. It causes enough to get a throw out of bounds there. Now Fresh um, has zero chemistries, not one, no abilities. We've got no playmakers, we've got no conductors, we've got no gunslingers. Um, he does have a tier two lockdown, so he's going to get plus two to his man coverage there. Uh, but as far as actual abilities, nothing on his field. Second and ten. Good punch out by Sean Taylor there. 
Great job using the RB button. Instead of getting the hit stick animation, you just, just knock the ball out with the RB button there. Great job. Hey, let's go. So that's going to break up a third down from the 31 here for ZMF. He's got to be careful. He can't let this thing get out of control early. Just a minute to go in the first. Vic, here comes the heat. And he got caught with his uh, pass right there. As you see, his line just shoots to the left because that's the side that he passed, uh, slid his uh, progressions to, and unfortunately, the blitz came from the right with two free defenders. Boy, and that, you're just not going to get a pass off without Gunslinger there. That flat route on the left side, it was nothing but green ahead of him. Kind of like this with Dion. Can he get to the edge? No. But a nice return to the 46. And you see that little smirk from AKG. He's starting to feel it. He knew he had one there. He let one get away. Now, in my opinion here, you've got Fresh on the ropes. And especially he's bringing that safety down. you got to take a shot here. First down, great time to take a shot. Got one-on-one -on -one with Dion. Dion's not going deep, though, but B is there. Goes back to X. Boy, it's, it's literally the, wide open on the edges. And he had whoever he wanted open there. Could have took a B. Instead, he went with X. B with a pass lead over the top. Only got one to beat. X was a much safer throw. Just knew he was going to get corralled as far as the tackles go. AKG makes the correct decision there and can take it to the second if he'd like. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. That's why he went into his audible screens just to set it up. But at some point, he can go back to that look. And if he puts Dion on the streak, it's six. He's definitely got a chance there. Uh, the main reason being that Fresh continuously brings down that free safety to have another man in the box, which is leaving the corner on an island by himself here. Uh, but interesting here, he's going to be in the uh, fullback wing package to get Gurley out as an eligible wide receiver. Marcus Allen and Gurley in his backfield. Uses quite a bit of cap there. So 7 nothing here at the start of the second quarter. Vic for AKG. Great defense on the back end there by Dion. Great swat by primetime. Uh, looking through AKG as he goes through, he has a different formation sub. It looks like in every formation. He is prepared for this. This is a game plan. That'll bring up second down. In field goal range here at the 24, but looking for more. Randy can't get that heel in bounds. And that'll bring up third down. Threw it just a tad late, but another good combo there with the uh, corner route going over the top of the zig route. Hard to guard those two. So third and 10 now. Trying to move the chains. He needs to get to the 14. I mean, he's wide open. He threw that one late. But it doesn't matter. It's a touchdown for Randy Moss and AKG. Uh, he was open early. He was open late. He was open on time. That's just a wide open touchdown right there. And I don't know how you let Randy Moss be wide open. Was it a busted coverage? I believe he may have. You no, know, he. So what he did there is he crossed man with a strong safety onto the wide receiver on the left side, which leaves Randy one on one with somebody probably in a three rec zone, and they're not going to keep up with that route. So. 14 to nothing. This is it for ZMF. I, I hate to say oh. that with 446 to go in the second quarter, but this is it. It's exactly right, though. It's almost as if you could tell how nervous he is just from his game. We talked about him coming in from the weekend league. And I'm not saying there's no tough guys out in the, in the weekend league. Because there's, you know, come on now. Don't, your, your Twitter's, your mentions will blow up. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, but... Uh, this is this is much different when you're talking about. I mean, even from regs to salary cap, from salary cap, you know, to you know, mutt draft. I mean, it's it's all different, and that's why the guys that continue to show up tournament after tournament, major after major, it doesn't matter the game mode. That's that's why they get a lot of my respect. Oh, absolutely. There's a reason players like don't care about ice are here to defend his title. There's a reason players like HKG have a chance to be three-time semifinalists, if not more. A couple players are going to be competing to be a three-time champions of their clubs. It's just a great championship we've got going on and right I, now. And if I haven't opened up my mentions enough, if you're uh, – and, and I love my guys that are playing, you know, franchise mode, you know, connected franchise. I love those guys. Uh -huh. turn, you know, turn the team around. But I'm telling you, Drini, Young Kiv, Skimbo, put them in your league, man, because uh, they're going to put a hurting on you. It doesn't matter what rules you throw out there either. Put your house rules, put your league rules in there. They could run a different play every down if that's what it takes. They're still going to rock you. 
and just taking advantage of the left side of the, this is the entire left side of the field has seemed to be open this entire game for AKG. Excuse me for fresh. Well, he needs it here. Henry trying to get the first down. He's going to be short here. So a third and one, 340 to go in the half. It's been all AKG. ZMF missed a long field goal on his opening drive. And he's been in Struggleville ever since. Vic, got to let it go, my friend. Nickel normal there, just a uh, overload of the right side. Quite a few adjustments there from AKG. Um, I would like to see Fresh come out here and maybe quick hike. AKG is doing quite a bit of just setup on his defense. Looks like something you could probably quick hike and catch him on a player that he doesn't want to be user controlling. And he will hand to Henry. Nice stick, cutting it back and not going through the same gap that AKG was sitting in, and that'll move the chains. Yeah, definitely good stick work there. A little bit early on the air truck. A couple years ago, that may have went for seven. <laughs> Shout out to Stiffmeister. So 318 on the clock here. New set of downs for ZMF. I mean, you get a touchdown here, all is forgotten. You're back in the ball game. Vic now. Here comes that blitz from the outside again. I mean, it's, and he throws a pick. Eric Reed almost stumbled his way to a recovery, which would have been six there. But you can't throw across your body. You can't roll out. It, it's, it's simple mistakes here that Fresh can definitely, you can correct these. these. These are correctable mistakes he's making there. But you just can't throw across your body, no matter if you're on the virtual gridiron or if you're on the real one. Yeah, but the, by the time you correct them, you meet bank, be down 21 points. 15, 10 by Felicia. It's a quick 21 there. 21 for 21. I mean, you're playing at my home on my couch. I'm going for two here, and we're resetting this game. 21 skunk. Let's take a look at it again since I was talking over it, but Dion, being Dion. And not, it, it wasn't just the spin there either. It was following the lead blocker, allowing the lead blocker to get one person out of your way so you only have to spin one defender out. That's just that's patience right there, and right now patience is winning AKG this game. 21 to nothing. And AKG gets the ball at the half. Wouldn't be surprised to see the pressure off the right side again. It doesn't seem like ZMF has been able to handle it. However, running directly at it is a very good way to neutralize that blitz. And I go back to my earlier point on that last touchdown run, the catch and run. By the time he figures it out, is it too late? It, it's looking that way so far. But you also have to understand that these are, these are building blocks for ZMF. Yeah, get that experience, and that's a nice find right there. Shaking off the sack and all the way down to the 18. Just caught that just on the sideline. Just enough room there. Breaks the sack, turns his body. I don't know what drill you learned that in, but I need it. Derrick Henry hitting the backfield there. It's going to be second and 13. Trailing by three scores here. No doubt chat going all in right now. You probably see a few uh, emojis in there, yes. Maybe even, I assume we've probably got some of the salties. But he's sitting here playing, and you're sitting there watching. I'm just, it's true. Just, just saying. You've got to score here. Like you said, AKG gets the ball back at half. You've got to make a play here. Doesn't even necessarily have to be a touchdown. Get some points on the board. Get yourself calmed down. There's still 12 minutes of John Madden football. I've seen worse happen. I mean, ZMF, he's got a winning percentage of 75%. He's put up nearly 150 wins on the ladder. So uh, <laughs> there's a reason he's here. Uh, it, it just feels like the, with a different game mode coming from, you know. The weekend league to the salary cap really yeah. seems like it's it, – and even when I was speaking with him before the event, uh, and, and I asked him, you know, is that the reason there are no chemistries? Is that the reason we're not, you know, rocking with any abilities here? Are you just not used to it? Is it not, does it not make you comfortable? Uh, and he, basically, he just said he didn't need it. He's used to using, you know, the higher overall players, and that's what made him comfortable. Well, the good players are able to counteract your higher-end players. It's, it's the gems that you find in there, whether it's a, a, a play that works or a player that works or a chemistry that 
Kind of sets your offense ablaze. But he's down here. He's inside the red zone, three yard line, first and goal. And he throws a pick. And this might go all the way back. Mm. Randy Moss with a tackle. Second INT for Reed. Having the game of his career right now. Throws it into coverage there. Uh, probably had Derrick Henry on the table route at the beginning of the play. Uh, didn't recognize it fast enough. Ended up getting caught. Yeah, he's locked in on that A. Uh, I'm not saying the A button receiver, but his number one receiver, his first option, he's just locked in. Yeah, and that's and AKG is doing a great job of taking away that first read and making a fresh have to make the next progression if he wants to win this game. And if, if I'm AKG, uh, AKG I'm, I'm not showing anything the rest of the game. I no mean, need I'm, to. You, you might as well go in some offense that you've never run. You know Modis and don't care about Icer in the front row right now, just all the way in your game room, writing down everything you're doing. Jordan getting in there with the sack, and there's a timeout from ZMF. He's got one remaining. Looking to get that ball back before half. Doesn't want to go down 28 here and have AKG get the ball back. Using Gurley on the line again as an eligible receiver with that fullback wing package. Vic dancing on the goal line and then takes off. And that's going to bring up fourth and maybe two or three. Yeah, fourth and three. And just waits until the middle of the uh, field, vacated everyone, and then took off. Going to punt the ball here. Now, if you're fresh, you can't try to do too much here. You don't want to go for everything on that first play, end up throwing another pick, and give AKG a chance to get the ball back. I think you got nothing half. to lose. I mean, say what you want to say over there, but if, if you don't get seven out of this one, I mean, it's a mental pretzel right now that ZMF is sitting in. Looks like pressure from the right side. Picked up this time, leaves a wide receiver in to block it. It would have been better off probably just not catching that ball. Gets out of bounds, gets two yards. Kittle with a second reception for 20. With 58 seconds to go in the half. It's been all AKG. Scott Cole and Grocery along with you. Our pleasure to Represent the New York Jets, their fine organization. And there's a sack. Sent two people from the right side that time. Fresh just isn't comfortable. Well, I mean, what's wrong with the guy on the drag? I, it's as if, like what's, you said, the I, I guy, the, there's guys in I'm the flats, sure, I'm not sure he's drags. looking at them. Like, I think he's locked in, like you said, that primary read, and this doesn't have the time to make that second read. Well, I can tell you, that's the read you got to make. <laughs> He needs to be running right there, but he has a man wide open. What do I know? And there's Moss. We'll take it to the 37. No timeouts. Clock on the move, 40 seconds remaining. With the ball at the 37-yard line. You can see wide open right in front of Dion. Definitely needs to pick up some yardage here. He's already missed one 54-yard field goal. And from here, he'd have his second chance at a 54-yarder. Semi-final number two will be Ice and Modus. They're waiting in the wings. It's been all AKG in this first half. But ZMF could get a late score here. Even three would just give you something to think of. He's got to run. He's got to run. <laughs> like, I'm rooting on. You know, I'm like trying to, I'm like wheeling him back into the ball game here. You just want to, because he has to be a better player than what he's showing today. He's obviously nervous. No one qualifies for this tournament uh, without being a quality player. Uh, and it just, it hurts to see someone to play so nervous. You got two men in the pattern. It was, I think that was PA verticals. And so here we go, 48 yarder. He missed his first one from 50 plus. And this one is up, and it is good. And that gets him on the board. Nine seconds remaining in the half, but it is something. A little confidence booster to get that donut. And now your biggest hope is uh, once AKG comes out in the third quarter with the ball, um, you're looking for a, a, a pick six for a scoop and six. Uh, you're really hoping that your defense can get on the board here and just give that boost to the offense, get that boost to your confidence. 
Let's see his AKG go for he's one gonna long hand it, one. I think he's going to hand it off here to Allen. Stretches out to the left side. See if he can make a couple men miss. Spin to the inside. Ooh. Lost his footing at the 48. And that's how the half will come to a close. And the New York Jets Club Championship. Remember, Look at they're that trying guy. to get to the final. We're trying to see who's going to face off against don't care about ice and modus. And, of course, the winner of the whole thing will be representing the Jets out in San Francisco with the other 32 teams in the NFL. We already had several players punch their ticket up to this point. That's right. As you see here, I form twins from AKG. It's almost as if he's in his Ask Madden offense here. You don't want to let too much off your chest here. You got to keep something in the back pocket. You know Ice and Modus are watching your entire game. I like what he's coming out here and doing. You'll probably see 40 seconds and running the ball quite a bit this second half. So second and 12 after the loss of two. Vic in the gun, he's got Marcus Allen off to his left. And remember, this is salary cap mode. That's why you're seeing Vic Tomas in a New York Jets uniform. I would have liked to see Vic Tomas in any uniform <laughs> watching football, whether it's John Madden football, whether it's NFL football. That would have been an entertaining duo right there. That would be, I mean... <laughs> When you talk about regular teams, I, I don't even want to think about that. I mean, Culpepper was enough. If we're looking to make Regs great again, we got to get Vic and Moss together. There was only one regular team that was ever like that. That was called the old Madden team. That's true. You well, know? If you remember, I remember the old, uh, as a matter of fact, I remember seeing Chow light people up in uh, Madden 04, I want to say it was, with the Vikings, just running PA all crosses, just crossing routes, a lot like what the uh, game is here, just a lot of crossing routes going back and forth. Second and six. 21 to three. AKG with an opportunity to add more to his lead. Good pressure up the middle. Great job of evacuating it, getting away from it. Rolls out, throws the ball away. Good pressure up the middle. So that'll bring up a third and six. Ball at the 44 yard line. Safety's really creeping up here for ZMF. He's got them both almost at linebacker depth here. Dangerous. And Curley underneath. And, it, and when ZMF goes back and watches this game, if this holds up for AKG, he's going to see all of those open routes underneath and just be like, man. And it's too late. You get down a couple scores and you start panicking. You have to make sure that you uh, remember that and don't make those same mistakes the next time you've got this opportunity. There's Gurley. Even, I mean, I'm talking about Skimbo, Kiv, Draney. You can see AKG here. Hey, ZMF's giving him the flats. He's going to take the flats. Absolutely. You always take what your opponent's going to give you. Um, no Madden offenses have to look incredible. They've just got to put up points. So 2.50 to go here in the third. And you called it, Groach. You were going to see a lot of that clock moving. This game is going to really start moving along here in the second half with a 18-point lead for AKG. Marcus Allen stumbles for a moment. He lost a yard. Kind of on the uh, brink of field goal range here. Uh, I would say he needs, with uh, his kicker, three, maybe four more yards to feel comfortable. Eagle, eagle. Not sure if anything's going to make him uncomfortable with an 18-point lead right now. Yeah, it's still a three-score game, whether you get three here or not. I think right now he's just happy with that clock on the move. He's going to have a chance with Dion one-on-one -on -one here if he wants it. Vic. RB all the way open, low throw to Moss, and he's in the red zone. I think Fresh could really do himself a favor by maybe switching to a man defense, the zone defense. People like Moss are just, they're just finding it. The, the empty spots with these crossing routes, and he's able to make these reads. If you're going to stay in zone, you've got to send a little bit more pressure, a little bit more heat behind that so he doesn't have so much time in the pocket just to break that zone down. So first and 10 now. Started the half with AKG with the ball. He's still got it. There's Dion, and everybody's open. Good comeback route there. 
waited for the user defender to completely run away from it, and then fired it. He was guarding that, guarding that area of the field, then ended up following the crosser just a little too much and got out of his zone assignment. So now second and two from the 11. 120 to go now in the quarter. And if AKG wanted here, he could pick up this first down, get himself into the fourth quarter, get himself that much closer to the Jets Club Championship. And I talked about if you're feeling secure, I mean, you're showing nothing to the two guys that you might possibly face and don't care about ice and modus. They'll be lacing it up next. Yeah, most definitely. At this point, you're, you're running the ball. You're throwing very generic uh, vanilla crossing routes on each other. Um, just playing a basic offense. So third and two. Vic looking, firing, and that's a first down for Gurley, and he'll get, go down in bounds. AKG's, what, 35 seconds away from milking the entire third quarter on just this drive? That's how you seal a game right there. 30-second play clock, so he's still got to run another play. Eighteen point ball game. Single wing here. Hands it off on first down to Allen, and he'll get in there. Another touchdown for AKG. Just big boy football there. My offensive linemen are bigger than your defensive linemen. And he makes it 28 to 3 on a 12 play drive that takes up nearly the entire third quarter but basically it was an untouched run there to get into the end zone. I said it before, I'll say it again. ZDF's gonna go back and watch those first couple drives and realize you had some guys wide open. Yeah, definitely gonna kick himself when he gets a hold of this footage. Uh, but as long as you can make yourself better from that footage, that's all you can ask for as a Madden player. Yeah, just 19 years old, we mentioned his first live event. AKG has been here before, and it shows right now. Vic for CMF. There's that corner route. Okay. And Hill turns it upfield, and we could have a touchdown here for CMF. There you go. First MCS touchdown for fresh ZMF there. Has a chance to get it back to an 18-point game. Five minutes left. Enrique just made a man miss here, just got out of the tackle. Good throw, and just, just ugh, that's just stick he, he, right he there. He made AKG miss. That's exactly <laughs> what he did. No spin needed. Trying to come over for that hit stick. We've seen it time and time again. And is he going to give him a dace of his own medicine? And here goes Todd Gurley, and he's swagging a little bit. I'm not sure he couldn't have taken that to the house, but instead he wants to work that clock. Just when we say the stick work from one, AKG says he's got a little of his own. Good job following his blocker there. Maybe got onto the turbo a little late there. Stayed a little slow behind his blocker. But like you said, I think that was more so to milk that clock more than anything else. Got an 18-point lead, 28 to 10. Ball now at the 30 to start the fourth quarter. It's been mostly AKG, and he'll go back to work on the ground. And there's another 30 seconds gone by. Good block shed there by his D-tackle, however. He wanted to run that right up the belly, and the D-tackle did not let that happen. So Vic in the gun. We ride receivers to the left. I guess you could say Gurley sort of. He's got him playing that H-back position right. this game, I guess. Good block shed up the middle there. It's going to get him out of field goal range. And we'll see another... 30 seconds go off the clock. Third and 22. ID's the middle linebacker there, expecting a crossfire or a loop blitz. He'll take this down close to four minutes left in this ball game. Snaps it with nine to go. Swings it out to Marcus Allen. And I'm expecting to punt right here. First time we've seen AKG do this in maybe a few years in the Jets Club Championship. He's gotten there. Yet to win it. 
This will be, again, if it all holds up, will be his third consecutive semifinalist appearance in the club championship. And I'm sure he would like to put that trophy on the mantle and represent the New York Jets. Here comes a kick to the corner. Let's we'll see if it, that's yeah, going to find the end zone, I believe. No, one yard line. Coffin corner. It looked like it was going to drift beyond the pylon, but it actually puts it at the half yard line. You can't get any better than the punt you just saw. And now you've got to worry about that nickel blitz coming from the right side right there in the end zone. And it's smart, especially down 18, to have the to have the acumen. So you see it from ZDF. He's got, he, he's got the skill. He's got oh. the IQ. Yeah, definitely. Knowing if you drop back to pass, that's probably two points for AKG. Vic gets away somehow. And we talked about that view earlier. When you get back there in the end zone, and it's sort of a top-down view. Yeah, the angle, it, it's not even the angle that bothers me much, at least. It's, it's that little ghost that you see in the field. Like, and you <laughs> never know when it's going to pop up. It just appears almost. Yeah, that's something that's probably not needed. Third and seven. Three Shows 14 to go. Keeps a wide receiver in the block to pick up that nickel blitz. Got to get rid of it. It's going to be a safety. 30 to 10. But instead of the blitzing cornerback coming in, it's a block shed by the D lineman because of that one-on-one -on -one matchup that he gets. And AKG takes advantage. We've all had that face him. right there. It's a familiar that, that feeling. That face that ZMF is making right now. I've seen the best of the best. However, Still have that face. If I had just won $2,000, qualified to play for one of my favorite teams, I maybe have a half smirk. A little trip to Vegas to represent the Jets. I mean, life could be worse. There's no doubt about that. And Marcus Allen will get to the 33. Second and nine for AKG. This was in the fridge, my friend. Gurley still playing that halfback, H-back position. Butter's getting hard. The Jello's getting jiggly. 2.38 to go in this one. Probably going to snap it right at the one-second mark. That way, no matter what happens, he can get the next play with a two-minute warning. That's exactly what he does there. Marcus Allen makes a man miss, picks up a, a yard. And Fresh calls a timeout. Doesn't feel, uh, he doesn't hear any fat lady singing. He doesn't feel it's over. Well, you got to battle. I mean, you, you can't. You know, like you said, this is a huge learning experience for the 19-year-old Fresh ZMF. Oh, he's going to come after this game. No matter if he won or if he lost this game, he was going to come out a much better Madden player after this experience. And there is Todd Gurley. And I think it's just purely game management. Like I said, we had some drags. We had some flats open. Uh, and when AKG's bringing 6-7, I mean, someone's open. Yeah, you, you've got to take what he's giving you. Uh, but instead, he wanted what he wanted. And another good punt. This all the way down to the 17. AKG might be the best competitive matted punter I've ever seen. He's got the best special teams we've seen in quite a while. It's probably that's not sure. something he wants to put on his resume. I don't think that's cool. You don't put it on your Twitter bio. No? Well, maybe. I... Punter, if... Punters are people, too. Honestly, Pat McAfee, one of the most entertaining people <laughs> on the planet right now. He's got a man wide open. There he is. Almost and took off too early there. Almost took off without the ball. That's just his eight completion for 249. That lets me know that this, this young man is looking way downfield. He's trying to pick up all the chunk yardage. Um, again, probably a sign of him just going down early and trying to get it all back at once, which we all know, you know, you're not going to get an 18-point play. You're not going to get a 20-point play. You've got to play the drive that's in front of you. Second and 16 now at the two-minute warning, trailing by 20. So AKG is going to move on to the final here. And he's going to face the winner of our next semifinal. Don't care about ice and modus. And there's an INT. Sean Taylor on the back end. And that should do it. Some people don't care about ice. Some people put the game on ice. Sean Taylor with an interception there to finish that one up for AKG. 
This is probably the most AKGs ever ran in a football game. And he'll hand it off again to Marcus Allen, former USC Trojan, oh. Oakland Raider. Only averaged 35 yards rushing per game in the latter. Uh, and Sean Taylor just comes over late here. Gets it on the right side. Good cutoff there. Good positioning. A little, auto, a little uh, user strafe there by AKG. Just a, little, just a little tap of the left trigger to get him to turn around, but not turn around completely. Great stick work there. So second and seven. Back to Allen again. And that's going to be a new set of downs. And GG's in the chat. AKGG is moving on. That's right. Congratulations to both competitors. Hopefully we get a chance to see Fresh again. I, I, I got no question. No doubt about it. Now we're going to see ZMF at another event down the road. It's just a different world. I'm telling you. It's, when you're coming from, from either your setup at home until, into a, a live environment, and I think he put a lot of pressure on himself. Maybe pressure that wasn't needed. And once he went down 21, it was, it was over. Yeah, never want to take away anything from any of the competitors. Uh, but at the beginning of that game, Fresh did a, did a good job of beating himself by not taking some of those underneath routes. Uh, the next time you see him, you'll see a lot more flat routes, a lot more table routes. Uh, it takes something like that to get better. So AKG will move on. It'll be his first Jets final. And